big minutes, which was a lot for a rookie back then, especially on a really good team. And uh, it was an awesome experience. That was a moment you had dreamt of your entire life if you grew up on the basketball, man. And I was pumped. That's a great story. And starting at really from when he was born, Williamson has been slated for greatness. Well, when your parents name you after Mount Zion, which is the highest point in ancient Jerusalem, there might be some blessings coming your way. Great last year, Williamson entered the NBA as one of the most well-known rookies since LeBron James. Already had millions of followers in this year. He has an above-the-man game that produces the kinds of highlights that people want to see. Now, here's Snyder. And Curry pulls it down. It's Harden with the drive. Count it. Yeah, I love watching Harden be aggressive inside. One of the most efficient scorers in our game. And there's the call on Curry. That's his first foul. Simmons. 122 left in the first quarter of the game. Bible, the pass to Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. Yeah, the quickness, the size, and the speed of Simmons really breathtaking, especially when he's dribbling the rock. Now, here is Martin coming off a solid outing against Cleveland. It's hauled in by Thibault. I we'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just thank it. And it's the Warriors' ball. Here's Harden. And Harden with the stop. And I just love how aggressive Harden is inside. When he's deep like that, he is ready to finish with the court. Now, here's Brad. Ball passes to Davis. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploding whatever balls that he's seen right now in the defensive squad. And arguably no one in the NBA draws more attention than Hart. Part of why that he creates so many opportunities for others. Yep, that one goes in there. Simmons got his second basket. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups you're asking for. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. From a physical standpoint, you just can't match up with Williamson's power down low. The Warriors have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. That free throw good from Williamson. Both teams deciding to change it up. He's off on the second. Just wondering for Zion Williamson and his game, just how much more of it we're going to see in terms of his potential in the next couple of years. For the finish, and finish off Craig Williamson. Yeah, so fun to watch him get fancy on any finish. Zion, again to the rack. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The Warriors on top, they lead by five. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. Easy. And for anyone who thinks this game isn't about hard work, listen to Steph Curry. I can't say how many shots I've taken in my life and how many hours of law practicing, but um, it started with a love for what I can do and just love shooting, love being in the gym with a ball in my hands. Um, and knew from early I was kind of a natural at it, but in order to get to this level and for me to have gotten better, that's the, the catalyst. As we know, great stuff comes from a family of great shooters. It's in the block. But as you said, it's about the work. The NBA players have had tons of kids. Most don't make it in this league. Steph is on his way to being one of the best to ever grace the heart of it. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. 
And take a look at the Warriors' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that court. And now let's check out the lineups. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Green is out there with Maxi. And there's Davis. Then there's Harris. And it's Looney into the five down low. Here's Max following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. Here's Harris. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Uh, Tobias just going strong that time. Here's Mitchell. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Mitchell's got the lead up to five now for the Warriors. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Pass to Looney. To the middle. Here's Davis. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Well, Looney knows his role. Good at keeping the ball moving and finding the right man for the shot. Mitchell kicks to Lou. On T. Philadelphia with the rebound. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And the foul called on Danny Green. That is his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Warriors. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for DeRozan. Stephen Curry comes in for Mitchell, and Irving subbed in for Damian Lillard. And then for Philadelphia, and Simmons, he's checked in for Davis, and John Wall subbed in for Maxi. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And the Warriors with some changes. Kelly Oubre is checked in for Tatum. James Harden comes in for Levine, and Russell Westbrook subbed in for Irving. Bradley's checked in for Philadelphia. Matisse Thibault comes in for Danny Green. Westbrook with the button. Uh, this is Westbrook just being an ultra competitor. He gets in there and the defense has nothing to do. Here's Simmons. Nails the baby hook. Simmons got his third bucket of the night. Oh, nice drive there to get to the bucket. Using some of that terrific agility that he possessed. Aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. So that will be it for the first half. Very even battle underway in this one. Warriors lead by three. And a chest down and send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. AD, you see how they're playing you in the first half. What's the adjustment going to be? So we gotta come out with a great intensity. It starts in warm-up, so we gotta come out uh, with a great intensity, great mindset. Let's not go up there and win third quarter. I have never heard anyone say it starts in warm-ups until now. Thanks, AD. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. We'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. The TV Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny at a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. They didn't stop fighting in the second quarter as they maintained most of their first quarter lead and now lead by three at the break. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what you think? Well, I have to point to their efficiency on the offensive end as the key for them. The way they've been moving the ball and finding the open man, that's been super impressive. They don't need to change a thing, Ernie. At this point, just keep playing smart basketball. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Philadelphia? Every time you give up a field goal position in the 60s, it's not great. Looks like here. Their DS has been all over the place, uh, not in a good way. Somebody needs to come out the second half and be a leader. Get them pumped up. <laughs> And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And in that first.
first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You look at Zion Williamson, guys. In this game, he has been everywhere. Yeah, early on, he has been feasting in the pain, and, and you have to think they're going to keep feeding the big fella. Oh, man, pouring it on right now, and why wouldn't you? Williamson out there at the Rose. Then it's Harden, then there's Stephen Curry, and it's Tatum in at the three spot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. And Davis gets it to go. Greg is a point guard. You must have had so much fun being surrounded by so much terrific talent at UNLV. You know, Larry Johnson, Stacey Ogden, I mean, I could go on and on. And you're right, I was blessed to play up alongside these guys. They were incredible talents, finishers. And, you know, you don't always appreciate it going through that moment. But the fact that we're all still close and stay in contact. Uh, man, what an awesome experience to be a part of that team. Chemistry must have been off the charts on that team. It, it was, and we had a lot of personalities, man. It was a different era back then, uh, but I tell you, again, I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. Timeout called the Warriors. Ben Simmons really making a difference here. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. Some changes here for the Warriors. Russell Westbrook checked in for DeRozan. Oubre comes in for Jason Taylor. And Zach Levine subbed in for Steph Curry. Freeze checked in for the 76ers. Got a nice one there from Levine. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. It's Davis on the loop. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. For everything that Anthony Davis does on the floor, you can't forget about his defense. Still an elite level defender, guards multiple positions and turns away a number of shots. And he knocks down the first one. Uh, you know Anthony Davis is going to spend a lot of time at the free throw line most nights throughout the course of the season. He's going to be pretty solid when he gets there. And Philadelphia making a change here. Harris has checked in. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And we know how explosive Westbrook can be. He just forces defenses to foul him. Good on both. There's 39 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. From deep, wall. The 76ers with another miss. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Uh, Westbrook draws so much attention, so takes advantage there, finds a teammate. Here's Walt after the made shot from Zach Levine. Here's Davis, and that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the gun. It's going to be on James Harden. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. And that one falls for Davis. Nails both of them. You might want to think twice before sending him to the line again. He gets locked in when the game gets close. And finished off by Ubre. Well, Ubre can get up there and that time brought his tool belt and got out the hammer. Harris looking it over. And that one, good. And how about the execution? Really what it matters most. He knew he had the height of edge. No need to pass in that situation. Three quarters of play in a close game here. The Warriors on top. They lead by one. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for... And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Great hands, great vision. That makes great things happen for your offense. 
again with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. And so in the game for the 76ers, they've got Simmons, Maxi out there with Matisse Thibel, leaves to buy his hands, and it's Davis at the center position. Cutting into that deficit now, well within striking distance. Just much sharper out there, you can see guys getting in tune. It's not about playing harder, sometimes it's just about playing smarter. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead that's been back and forth all night. But we can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it back. And yes, it's good. Pull up jumper from Tobias, and he's feeling it. He likes to get to this shot. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. Lillard's got four points now in the court. We can expect a dramatic end of this one. Yeah, no, no flip by either side, guys. Neither team willing to give any more. Here's Harris. Another shot. And the layup is up and in. Harris has got the lead up to one now for Philadelphia. And Tobias has a good frame and has good strength. I'd like to see him go in there and put it to good use on the offensive back. James Harden comes in for Damian Lillard, and Curtis up in for Irving. Then for the 76ers, Tony Bradley comes in for Harris, and it's John Wall in for Maxey. And the 76ers call time here. They're behind by three. There's 47 seconds left in the game. And now, we present our new balance player of the game. Williamson. And this is finished from the field today, too. Almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He really got after him. He said, look, you can rest after the game. You got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. I do that. They grab their own miss. And here's Wall outside. Here's Davis. It's yet again. Launches it. It's good. And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. That is world class. I've seen that. They're a huge possession. And he nets it. And so Steve Kerr decides to call a timeout. The Warriors meeting is this year. Levine's checked in. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Harden, no good. Nah, I'm sorry. Davis on the wing. 
to force OT. Oh, he had a chance there to send it to overtime, but they come up empty-handed. So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors, pulling up the W. That was a fun night of basketball. That was finished as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Damar, this team is playing well together. How are you encouraging and fostering that sense of all of you being together and playing well? Uh, um, we're just making everybody comfortable. Making each and everybody on this team comfortable. The jump shot, the back in the basket, you know, even if it's on the defensive end. You know, we're just giving each other confidence every time we practice. And it sure looks like it out there tonight, Damar. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. So for David Aldridge, Craig Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. So long, everyone.